a new car seems to be everyone's dream. But when it comes to fixing cars, it appears to be a man's world. In Nigeria, a common attitude is that women still belong in the kitchen. But this is changing. Shirley Stollem is a 21-year-old woman who lives in Ajegunle, a low-income neighborhood of the country's commercial capital, Lagos. Most young people like Shirley have a hard time finding jobs and making ends meet. Almost half of Nigeria's 120 million people are young and unemployment figures are rising, especially in the urban centers. But Shirley and her friend Ruth have decided to step into a man's world. They may look sweet and sassy, but in reality, they are no-nonsense auto mechanics. Shirley is one of 25 girls employed by the Lady Mechanics Initiative, a non-profit organization training young women to become auto mechanics. The center is being run by Sandra Aguebor, a feisty lady with a courageous dream. I've been in the garage for 20 years. I started when I was 14. In Nigeria before, you'll be told that don't do a mass job. It's like a taboo, but these days, People will be looking at you and saying, ha, ah, that is good. Sandra's Lady Mechanics Initiative trains women for three and a half years and gives them a modest monthly allowance during their training. Resources are tight and they have to make do with simple equipment and tools to teach the basics of how engines work. You know, they feel women are more, you know, when they are doing their intermediate profession, they are more careful with a whole lot of things. One, not to tarnish their name, because it's a, new, it's a new innovation. But what do Nigerians think about women mechanics? Girls around me, I think people should be enlightened now about auto mechanics, especially girls, that they can do it. For a man to be a mechanic, you have like 10 cars in your yard. When you do the cars, you don't get money. Can women be doing work without money? Women need money because where men can manage, it's not easy for women. Women mechanic in, in Nigeria here, uh, it amounts to civilization. Sandra organizes community outreach events where she invites young women to join the initiative. I have a whole lot of them here, the health commercial sex workers, the school certificate holder who, who, who cannot finish their, uh, you know, continue their education for one reason or the other. Married women who want to also acquire mechanical skills. We also do industrial attachment for universities, a student for polytechnic student and school of technology. I'm a student too, but I don't know the practical aspect of this work that I'm doing now. But me coming to this place has really helped me practically. I'm proud to be a mechanic, so my family are also proud of it. When you are in the garage, you are learning a skill which, in fact, is a wonderful thing. You'll be recognized by your country, you'll be recognized by your community. Sandra's girls have been hosted by Nigeria's president, and Sandra herself received a grant to visit women mechanics initiatives all over the United States of America. Even Yellow Man, a local rap artist, has composed a special song about women mechanics. Lady Mechanic Initiative, where the unemployment situation we have in this country is a very great idea. The initiative is going to change the global world for good. Why? Because if the women start repairing cars and attracting customers to their garage, it's also going to boost whatever economy of any federation, anywhere they are, any country they are, because they are contributing a lot to that economy. We can do it. Oh! 